Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves. And today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewer verse, it's a bit of a Captain Steves Talks video. And what am I wanting to talk about today? I want to talk about Megafauna. And could Megafauna make its way into No Man's Sky? Now, I'm going to be putting some footage up over the top of what I speak about some of the things as a visual reference and a visual cue. So inside of the No Man's Sky E3 trailers, there were some magnificent, majestic megafauna spotted. Not a very dangerous variety of majestic Diplo. There was also, though, this rhino that came crashing through the trees, which actually made the trees move, made birds fly up into the skies and make other animals scupper, and it let out a giant roar as the traveller jumps in his ship and flees the planet. I would like to see aggressive fauna that has that sort of impact on the world and the environment and other fauna around it. I mean, yes, we do see fauna hunt down and take out other faunas on planets, but it's not quite to the same gravitas as what we saw in that E3 trailer. Also inside of the trailer, we have seen sandworms that actually cross the planet on their bellies across the surface of the planet. Now, Sean, inside of a clip, when he was talking about Origins, talked about how they've implemented giant worms now inside of game and why he felt that it would be nicer to have this sort of approach than to have them actually come across the ground and maybe murder you. So, yeah, let's just hear from Sean on what he had to say there, people. You know, when we first showed off the game, which was about four years before it came out, we had sandworms in the game and they weren't that fun. It, they, it sounds fun, right? Fundamentally, it works really well at a trailer and it's a cool thing and it's cool when you see it. But if you play the game for a hundred hours and you've got your save, you know, that you really care about, really annoying to be randomly killed by a sandworm. I think now, and it is something that we've revisited a couple of times, we've found a way to make them, you know, play well with the game, to signpost themselves well, and to kind of fit the environment around them so that it feels, hopefully, fun and in keeping with the rest of the game. Okay, now, do I think they're going to be able to bring in Megafauna into a No Man's Sky as per those trailers in the past? Well, yeah, if they've put them in the trailers of the past, it's something that they've obviously played with and tinkered with, and there's definitely been on the ideas table inside of the Hello Game Studio, but for whatever reasons they've taken them out, perhaps they thought that it might hinder or destroy the player too early in game. But I think if these creatures are signposted quite well, you know, we can scan planets right now and see if it's got aggressive sentinels, or we can see if it's got activated idiom. So we know when it's going to have extreme storms, and we know when it's going to have sentinels that are going to want to kill us. So I kind of feel that Hello Games could signpost these, maybe aggressive sense, aggressive megafauna planet or megafauna, you know, as you scan planets from space. That could be a thing. I mean, why not? Heck yeah. Anyways, over in Light No Fire, the new game by Hello Games, there's a couple of megafaunas actually spotted. Inside of the oceans, as the actual players are swimming, you can see a giant octopus in the background, a giant octopi. Heck yeah, we're all tentacles, very nicely animated. Is it making its way to the players? Does it look aggressive? No, it looks more like set dressing, but we, we can't really tell. It's not enough footage to go by overly, is it? And then inside of Light No Fire as well, you have got the mounts, which are dragons, which are kind of megafaunas, but they seem to be aiding the player, not going against the player. But is there going to be an element of battle in a dragon before you can tame it? Really don't know. Could they be a megafauna inside a light no fire? They might be. There is also a giant amongst all of the sort of um, the swampy area that rises its head up. Does it actually stand? Will it actually go against the players? Or is it some kind of quest giver? Is this thing an adversary is where I'm going with this. Is that a megafauna of sorts? A giant boss creature, perhaps? Maybe it could be. Sound up in the comments. Let us know what you think of that giant golem. The next, you see this giant crab that he's going up against. Blink and you'd freaking miss it, though. It's only a couple of snippets of seconds, but I've slowed it down for you. Hopefully you can see it in all of its glory. That is definitely a giant boss-like crab with little underling crabs near it. 
So Hello Games already has these boss-like giant creatures inside of Light No Fire, and I'm hoping some of those sort of creatures could be lifted and shifted over into a No Man's Sky. Maybe they won't have the same wireframes, maybe they won't be the same creatures and look more alien, but hopefully they've got the code there already to lift and shift. Now I'm kind of thinking whatever comes into a No Man's Sky in the next couple of well, the next year or so before Light No Fire is lifted, perhaps they're going to be lifting and shifting that code from no, from no Man's Sky into Light No Fire. I mean, you already see a little bit of that lift and shifting code when you see them take off on their dragons. The way the dragons take off is exactly how our ships take off currently inside of No Man's Sky. So it does feel that they are sharing some of the code and doing a bit of reskinning. And I'm hoping that could be the same with some of the things that they've done in Light No Fire to bring over to no Man's Sky, perhaps, people in the viewer verse. Let us know what you think about that. There is also one other curious entity inside of the Light No Fire trailer, and it's this little yellow goblin guy. I say he's little, he's about twice the size of a player model. So he's kind of a giant in his own way, not as big as the golem, not as notable as the golem. But at the same time, could that be a boss-like creature? I mean, he seems to be quite relaxed, just sitting there in his chair. Very nonchalant. But could he get up? Could you do battle with them? Who knows? Who knows, people? Can't wait to see more on Light No Fire. I'm quite miffed on how quiet Hello Games have been about this Light No Fire project so far. But then again, they are a company of very little words now, and more of a company that shows what they have done. So let's just hope that everything we saw in that trailer comes to fruition inside of Light No Fire. It's like the trailers of yesteryear of No Man's Sky, as you saw here. A lot of these things that I've pinpointed are still not in game, and we're still hoping one day to have Mega Fauna. The whole thing about being a space explorer, in my opinion, is putting boots on grounds on alien planets and not knowing what aliens might be there, which ones are hostile and which ones are friendly. That, for me, was a very big element to the reason as to why I purchased No Man's Sky and pre-ordered it back in the day. To find that the game doesn't really have that aspect, not even now, after nine years of playing and development and updates, and what we have had has been very different to what's been showcased. It feels like the game has evolved. It's evolved in all the frickin' time. It's unlocking some of that potential, but the potential is always in areas where I'm like, hold on, <laughs> exploration please, exploration! Yes, I would also like to see some sort of endgame content added in, what brings in the void along with it, perhaps boss-like creature challenges, or maybe even giant sentinel bosses. I have done a video on all of the endgame content I'd love to see come into the verse, I'll put a link up there, go check that video out, it's quite a long one, about 40 minutes, but it's also from comments that people have left on a poll that I left on my community tab. And yeah, there's a wealth of ideas there. It's a freaking awesome video. Far better than I expected it would be, to be honest. The community made that video good because of their comments were so awesome. Heck yes, if you do ever see anything on my community tab, please chime in. There is, an op there is a chance I could do a video on it in future because that video done very well. Now, something else when I mentioned about the Sentinel boss creatures. Um, there's been some awesome mock-ups by a chappy out there inside of the verse, a Sean Cruz. We've done some awesome artwork, concept artwork of Sentinel bosses. Again, I've done a video on that. I put a link up there. Freaking awesome video. Well, I think it is. I'm a bit biased though, I made it. But it's only an awesome video because of his artwork and concept ideas. Check it out because it's freaking awesome. It could make the exotic planets in No Man's Sky far more of a challenge. Heck yeah. Anyway. That's everything I've got for you, really, on Mega Faunas. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed its format. I mean, now I've got to go find all the video elements, slap it over it, do a shed load of editing. Yeah, not an easy video to make. So hopefully you enjoy it. If you do, hit that like. Let us know if you've enjoyed it. And um, hopefully I can do more of the same. You get to see all my wonderful collectibles. I 3D printed that Ed 209. Heck yes, I did. There's my R2D2 down there. He makes noises. He's pretty cool. <laughs> He's awesome, isn't he? Yeah, anyway, so yeah, I've got my my little jellyfish in a tube. And over here I've got my, my little No Man's Sky diorama. There's the, no, oh, you can't really see it because of the light, but there's an Alpha Vector in there. There's some Starcom figures that look like travellers. There's a Sentinel Walker. And I've got some polystyrene over there that's grey, that's supposed to be a portal. I could 3D print a portal, but it's not like you can really see what's going on in there. Loads of other No Man's Sky collectibles up here. I've got some Battle Beasts behind my head. 
Yeah, disc plate posters. Yeah. Anyways, I'm, I'm going off on a bit of a weird tangent now, aren't I? But if you're as geeky as me, you might have enjoyed that. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.